The story of the ugly cat, although this parable has been around a while, its lesson is one we may need a refresher on now and then. If you have ever judged something or someone based on appearance, remember when looking through the eyes of compassion, you may be brought to a totally different view. Everyone in the apartment complex where I lived knew who Ugly was. Ugly was a resident town cat. Ugly loved three things in this world. Fighting, eating garbage, and shall we say, love. The combination of these things combined with the life spent outside had their effect on Ugly. To start with, he had only one eye, and where the other should have been was a hole. He was also missing his ear on the same side. His left foot appeared to have been badly broken at one time and had healed at an unnatural angle, making him look like he was always turning a corner. Ugly would have been a dark gray tabby, striped type, except for the scores hovering his head, neck, and even his shoulder. Every time someone saw Ugly, there was the same reaction. This one ugly cat! All the children were warned not to touch him. The adult threw rocks at him, hosed him down, squirted at him when he tried to come in their homes, or shut his paw and dowered when he would not live. Ugly always had the same reaction. If you turned the hose off on him, he would stand there, getting soaked until he gave up and quit. If you threw things at him, he would curl his lanky body around your feet in forgiveness. Whenever he spied children, he would come running, meowing frantically and bump his head against their hands, begging for their love. If you picked him up, would immediately begin slucking on your shirt, earrings, whatever he could find. One day, Ugly shared his love with the neighbor Huskies. They did not respond kindly, and Ugly was badly mauled. From my apartment, I could hear his screams, and I tried to rush to his head. By the time I got to where he was laying, it was apparent Ugly's sad life was almost at an end. Ugly lied in his whisk circle, his backless and lower back twisted good grossly out of a shape, a gaping tear in the white strip of the fur that ran down his front. As I picked him up and tried to carry him home, I could hear him wheezing and gasping, and could feel him struggling. I must be hurting terrible, I thought. Then I felt unfamily tugging, second sensation on my ear. Ugly and so much pain, suffering and obviously dying, was trying to suckle my ear. I pulled him closer to me, and then he pumped the palm on my hand with his head. Then he turned one golden eye toward me, and I could hear the distinct sounds of purring. Even in the greatest pain, that ugly battle scared cat was asking only for a little affection, perhaps some compassion. At that moment, I thought Ugly was the most beautiful, loving creature I had ever seen. Never once did he try to butt or scratch me, try to get away from me, or struggle in any way. Ugly just looked up and me completely trusting in me to relieve his pain. Ugly died in my arms before I could get inside, but I sat and held him for a long time afterward, thinking about how one scared, deformed little stray could so alter my opinion about it, what it means to have true pureness of spirit, to love so totally and truly. Ugly taught me more about giving and compassion than a thousand books, lectures, or talk show special ever could, and for that I will always be thankful. He had been scared on the outside, but I was scarcer on the inside. And it was time for me to move on and learn to love truly and deeply, to give myself totally to those I cared for. Many people want to be richer, more successful, well-liked, or beautiful. But for me, I will always try to be ugly.